What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS here to bring you guys the war recap of the opening weekend of CWO Premiere. This was week one, Forge from Steel, walking away with the victory against Ledich Tug. 85 to 84, an absolute epic war. I could not believe, the whole clan could not believe how this war ended. But this is a war recap, so we will be covering everything and showing you guys exactly how it went down. And we did war Ledich Tug just a few weeks ago in a random spin. So this is more or less the rematch right here. CWL style, walking away with the victory, could not believe how this ended. And they are such a strong competitive clan. They are going to do very well in CWL Premier. I guarantee it. Very, very good clan. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys what they did to our side of the map. They did manage to two-star all of our Town Hall 11s with their Town Hall 10s. Rome Show did give them a little bit of a struggle, but they were able to... To uh, double his base with a Town Hall 10. As far as their 11 v 10 action, they did have two dip fails, which ultimately, I mean that 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 was basically the war right there because they did have two um, they did have two 10 v 10s against Oki and against Hulk. So the heavy hitters did fairly well, but they did have those two dip fails. They did dip one of our Town Hall lines. I believe they had a couple scouts on, on, on you know just a few of our town hall ten. So their their nine v nine action was fairly well, but they did use one dip, so not too much of a big deal. And they obviously cleared the rest of our nines. And what we did to their side of the map, we did manage to two star all of their town hall elevens with our town hall tens as well. Their number their number one did give us a little bit um, of a of a struggle but we were able to double number one and we had one dip fail so we did go seven for eight um on our dips and we also had two 10 v 10s uh, that was against number nine we had gooves that tripled nine and gooves again tripling number 11 so just a tremendous war from him do not worry i will be showing you guys both of those replays now the town hall nines that was a completely different story and what i mean by that is our nines did so freaking well i could not believe it we had six guys we had six town hall nines that all six packed so they cleared 12 of the 16 bases just an amazing job and in turn what that did is we were able to scout every single one of their town hall tens which obviously just makes it that much easier getting those scouts getting those heavy hitters to come in that much earlier get these plans in and we obviously got the result from it so just an amazing job from everybody top to bottom you guys really brought it this war opening weekend and forge from steel getting the victory 85 to 84 but without further ado let's go ahead and check out our very first replay again i wish i could show all of them but these videos would just be way too freaking long so at any rate what midi's doing on this one she is doing yes she is doing a shattered lalo starting right there up at 12 o'clock dropping down to two golems wizards funneling does have the max bowlers coming out of the clan castle set up a nice funnel for them goes ahead and rages everything up she wants to get two of these air defenses Ends up getting three. You'll see that her Archer Queen is actually going outside of the base. But we have seen it time and time again where sometimes that you actually get more value this way. Uh, just depending on the base layout. She does snipe the AD from over the wall. And now she's going to be starting the Hound Loon portion over on the left hand side at 9 o'clock. And those loons are reaching those air targeting defenses right as they get out of range of the Lava Hounds. And has a nice haste just bringing all those loons into this little wizard tower farm right here. That first hound popped to the two seeking air mines. So that other hound is just doing a great job tanking that AD. And the balloons are fighting a little bit of that sweeper right there. But she does still have one haste in the bag. 
And you'll see right there, uh, goes ahead and drops it down. Pups actually end up finishing off that other air defense as the crash did not quite kill it. And they catch the tail end of that haste right there. Last defense to go down is that Tesla. And it's just cleanup. Uh, there was a uh, hound that came out of the enemy CC. So she ends up swagging a poison, has an extra loon swagged. So just an awesome job to Mitty doing it with that shattered Lalo. So now we have Stancy going in, and he's going to be doing it with the Grundinator. And I'm going to tell you, I have seen guys doing this attack in FCs. I mean, it was hot for a while. It, it did seem to be one of those attacks that was kind of here and then gone. But I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of a lot of success with it in the friendly challenges. Stancy said, you know what? I'm going to bring it to the war map. So he's starting off with the queen walk over at 9 o'clock, has queen down. Uh, has the healers behind her, goes ahead and gets the enemy queen taken care of very quickly, drops two P.E.K.K.A.s down, followed up by a pair of healers behind them, setting up a nice funnel, hoping that the queen, the P.E.K.K.A.s, and the Valkyries all kind of meet up into the core of this base and just rip right through it. Has CC bowlers coming out of the clan castle, uh, goes ahead and has that jump leading everything in, goes ahead and rages up, and just slowly but surely just ripping through this base, goes ahead and drops another rage, so all spells down at this point. And yet again, just like how we saw in Midi's attack, Queen not going in, but still going to get good value by trimming these defenses that are just right over the wall. And... Also similar to like the HGHB, if you guys remember that attack, the healers kind of healing up the king, then switching over to the bowlers, switching over to the Valks, just keeping everything nice and healed up. Now they're on the P.E.K.K.A.s. I mean, you can see uh, Stancy just has all kinds of troops and with only just a few defenses left, just ripping through these. Uh, Queen sniping that mortar right there. And I mean, she's just cleaning up this trash around the edges, goes in, drops uh, his last wizard over there at three o'clock and you'll see all there is is a tesla left uh with with healers just healing everything up doing it grundinator style so awesome job to Stancy bringing that attack back really really enjoyed that one all right now we got Polly going in doing it with the mass witches i believe some are calling it witch slap mass witches whatever you guys want to call it and i'm telling you love it or hate it this attack, you're seeing it more frequently, especially since that last update, for good reason. I mean, guys are having a lot of success with it, especially Polly. He has really been favoring this attack lately, and for good reason. He is absolutely crushing bases. This base is going to go away in less than two minutes. So we're going to see how he breaks this down. Started with uh, about four witches on each flank up at 12 and over at nine o'clock just funneling everything has uh bowlers in the clan castle sending in the heroes well as well as the other few witches coming in right into the core does have two jumps a rage and a heal so he's dropped one jump leading everything into the core uh the second jump just kind of leading everything to the back end has a heal and a rage right in the core of the base for his bowlers as well as his heroes and you'll see the witches, along with some wizards, uh, just everything just staying nice and healed up. No, nothing is able to attack the, the, that army of skeletons quick enough. And those witches do have a decent amount of range to where they can pick off these defenses from over the walls as well. And then you have the skellies cleaning up all the trash. And, you know, again, this attack doesn't have a peak or a climax to it. It's just a slow rolling attack, just slowly mowing right through a base. And you'll see, I mean, just look at this. Look at all these witches. Look at all these skellies. Still has the healers up. Uh, the healers have even switched over to the queen. And there's nothing left but that archer tower and that elixir storage. And Polly on this one just completely wrecked this base. So awesome job in getting the three star and awesome six pack. All right, so now we have Can't Touch This doing it with a stoned hobo going up against number 16, starting off over here at three o'clock over on the bottom right. And go ahead and take a look at the spells that he's bringing to this raid. 
or should I say not bring to this raid, completely is pre-swagging to the point to where he doesn't even bring spells anymore. Completely forgotten elixir spell on this one isn't even going to matter. He has been breaking down these bases so well lately, and he does have a wall breaker fail right there. Uh, but King ha has a nice funnel that he set up with his golems and with his wizards. Um, the walls probably had, you know, may maybe a couple hundred hit points left on him. But the King did end up bashing through the wall where the bulk of his troops are headed. Did have a couple bowlers walk, but not going to be too much of an issue. Does double poison the enemy clan castle troops. Um, Queen's about to snipe that baby drag, and he's already starting his hogs over at 9 o'clock over on the left-hand side while the defenses are being distracted by his kill squad. So goes ahead and drops a nice heal as his hogs were under quite a bit of splash damage and some DPS. And going to go and take out that archer tower. Still has one heal uh, that he's going to be dropping right on that bomb tower. As those are very deadly against hogs. And you'll see his heal spell catches those cannons just perfectly. To where they're nice and staying healed up. There were three cannons, but they're just going to mow right through them. And does still have that archer tower. And on this one, there is actually a troll tesla up there at 12 o'clock. But he does have a couple wizards that's just going to be taking out this trash uh, around this outer ring over on the upper left-hand side. Still has his queen bashing through a wall as, as she always does best. So hogs take out the troll Tesla. And it's pretty much just clean up from here on out. So can't touch this. Did an awesome job breaking that base down. Completely swagged an elixir spell. Got to make sure you have all your spells. But just an awesome raid. So good job to can't touch to can't touch this. And congrats on the six pack. Okay, so now for our last and final Town Hall 9 replay, before we get into the heavy hitter action, we got King Foot coming in, doing it with a Queen Charge Lalo. Does have Queen and Healers down with a baby drag just to help funnel. And he does want Queen to go up north here. And he has wall breakers to break into this compartment right here to get that air defense. Does have uh, Queen dealing with enemy clan castle. Goes ahead and drops a rage. Followed up by the Archer Queen ability. Making sure that clan castle gets taken care of. And it does. So BK's down. Distracting the, the defenses to get this compartment broken into. Here comes the wall breakers. They come down. But Queen is beating on a wall. The queen's beating on a wall, and since she was under fire from two level three expos, ends up having to drop a rage to keep her alive. So the compartment to that air defense got broke, but the queen didn't go inside of it. So the healers are actually still inside that rage. That expo went down, queen on queen action, gets enemy queen taken care of, but that air defense is still up. Going to have to act on the fly a little bit here. So goes ahead and drops down. Uh, he drops down his... CC Hound going to that air defense over there at 7 o'clock while the air targeting defenses were distracted onto the hounds. Brings in the loons followed up by a haste as everything's going to be coming in here down here at 6 o'clock. Does still have a haste and a rage left. So balloons are just flying through this 6 o'clock compartment as there is that Tesla farm right there. So it has a nice rage. Going to be dropping right here as he's working his way through the Tesla farm and through those two air defenses. And they are getting pushed back by a sweeper. But under Rage, they're just going to one-shot that. No problem at all. And Queen is still working. Uh, she is still full health. Now, the air defense, there's no more hounds, but he just has way too many loons. Just overwhelms that fourth and final air defense and just has that archer tower just trying to pluck these loons, but there is just way too many. Uh, does have a goblin here for cleanup. So good job to King Foot adjusting to the attack on the fly. These attacks do not always go according to plan, but he did a great job adjusting on the fly and getting that three star and also congrats on the six pack okay so now for our heavy hitter action we got goobs gonna be taking out number 11 doing it with a shattered lalo so he's gonna be starting over here at two o'clock goes and drops on that golem just tanking all those defenses while his archer queen's working 
goes in and drops down the second golem, just followed up by a couple wizards, just starting this funnel. So wall breakers down, they're going to be popping that wall where the cannon and the bomb tower are. That little small compartment right there. So it drops down BK, followed up by a few bowlers. And you guys are about to see just incredible value from this kill squad. Has jumped down, rages everything up. So first air defense down. And has a poison, just trying to take out that loon. And when that hound pops, uh, just take out all those pups. King takes out the Inferno Tower, second air defense is down, Rock skip from the bowlers on the clan castle, take out the third air defense, and he's already going to be starting his Lalo over here on the bottom right hand side. So Teslas were distracted on to his CC Hound, rages up his loons, takes out the Tesla farm that was on the outside of the walls, haste on right at 6 o'clock, take out that wizard tower. When those loons left the raid spell, they were greeted happily by another haste, just keeping everything flying through the bottom of this base. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. He does still have a heal spell, goes ahead and drops it. Now, that air sweeper is giving his loons a little bit of a headache, but ends up actually pushing the loons a little closer to the Inferno Tower. So now the Inferno Tower's down, but all his loons are clumped up right by that wizard tower. Seeking Air Mine takes out his hound, but he has all these pups that have now targeted on that wizard tower. So the pups end up saving the day. They take the wizard tower out. There was a troll Tesla over at three o'clock, but he did have a loon and a minion for it. So that's how we end up dealing with that. All defense is down at this point. Nothing but trash to clean up. Goofs doing it. 10v10, doing it with a shattered Lalo. I could not believe the value from that kill squad. Guys, he, his kill squad got three air defenses, the enemy Archer Queen, the enemy Clan Castle troops, and an Inferno Tower. Amazing, amazing value. Awesome jobs to Goofy Babe on that one. Not once, but twice. Goofs getting it with a 10v10 six pack this war. And this is how he did it. Going up against number nine. And he's doing a suicide hero Lalo, which is actually becoming a little more popular at Town Hall 10. Ma mainly for the reason that we see air defense is kind of set up like this where you have two clumped together. So he did drop a giant down to ensure that his wall breakers break open that wall right there so his queen can step up. He's going to get amazing value from his archer queen. Going to take out two air defenses and an inferno tower. So just tremendous value right there. Does have king down here on the bottom left. And I'm not sure if this was intentional, but that's basically just a, a fake wall piece right there. So his king was able just to step up. Enemy Archer Queen hopped the wall. King bashed her in the face. So Enemy Archer Queen was completely dealt with. Now he's starting the Hound Loon portion. Does have two heals, a rage, and five haste that he's bringing along to this raid. So goes ahead and haste everything into the base while the hounds were distracting. The last air uh, air defense is already down, but now he's got to work through all the air targeting crap on the other side. So goes ahead and drops down a rage, drops down basically two finger drops, about eight loons on those two archer towers right at 12, haste them in, followed up by a heal, and this base is basically gone already has a haste leading to that archer tower and that expo last defense to go down was the bomb tower another reason why this attack is very viable on certain base layouts is because of how often we see hound loon ccs you can see that enemy hound is doing absolutely nothing so at any rate goose just completely wrecked it didn't just get one got two 10 v 10s this war and he had to the score was tied. He had to get this 10v10 because if the score was tied, if it ended on a tie, they would have won on percent. So he came in here, got the job done, got us the star victory with another 10v10. So just an awesome job to Goofy Babe doing it with the Suicide Hero Lalo. Awesome, awesome attack. All right, well, that is going to wrap it up for opening weekend of CWL Premier Week 1 
Forged from Steel walking away with the victory, 85 to 84 against Ledich Tug. Before I let you guys go, I have to give out our six pack shout outs. So, we had quite a few of them at Town Hall 9. PSC, awesome job. We had Polly, Rahat, Can't Touch This, Midi, You Go Girl. And we had King Foot, all with six packs. As far as our 10v10s, of course, we had Gooves uh, with a 10v10 six pack. And for Town Hall 11s, uh, Town Hall 11 six packs, we had Bender, Shy Guy, and Rome Show. All dipping on these tens, wiping out these bases, top to bottom, left to right. Everybody did an amazing job this war. Pat yourselves on the back, getting the victory. Ledich Tug is a very tough opponent. I guarantee you they're going to have a very successful season in the CWL premiere, and I wish them nothing but the best of luck. They're always fun to war against. So, again, best of luck to you guys in your CWL premiere season. As always, make sure you guys like the video if you liked it. Leave any comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.